Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm taking a look at a new version of Orb, which uh, is an application that allows you to stream content from a PC or a Mac to your mobile device, including an iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. And the latest version does a little bit more. Uh, the earlier versions of Orb would let you stream video or music or photos or uh, other uh, content that was stored on your local hard drive, or even if your computer had a TV tuner, you could use it to stream live TV. The new version does all of that, but also, if you go into the video setting, there's support for streaming video from online services. So, for instance, here we can stream content from Vivo, ESPN, Dailymotion, Netflix, or you can add extra services, including Amazon Video On Demand and Hulu. And in fact, if you go to the TV shows section. It'll just show you a list of popular shows by title or by genre. And you can stream these directly without even knowing where they're coming from. So, for instance, if we want to stream a copy or a recent episode of 30 Rock, we just go in and select the episode. Now, it takes a little while to buffer, because what it's actually doing is not streaming it directly from the web to your uh, iPod or iPhone, it's streaming it basically from the web to your server computer, which is then transcoding it and streaming it over the internet to your mobile device. So this is coming from, it looks like, uh, either the NBC website or from Hulu, uh, looks like Hulu, and then being sent from a computer to your mobile device. Now, as you can see, the uh, video quality is actually pretty good. It sometimes takes a moment to buffer, um, and things don't look great while it's buffering. But once, once things are up and running, the video quality is pretty good. Um, you do need a reasonably fast computer. The uh, CPU on my uh, uh, PC with an Intel uh, Core 2 Duo processor, um, CPU usage was going between 50% and 100% and while I was using it to essentially act as a server, taking the video from the internet, transcoding it, streaming it to the mobile device. Um, so you're not, not going to want to try this with, say, a netbook operating as your server. Um, some of this seems to be sort of an interesting idea. Uh, Netflix, for instance, you need a Netflix account in order for this to work. You have to log in with your Netflix credentials. And you might as well just use the free Netflix apps that, app that's available for iOS if you're going to do that. On the other hand, uh, you may have noticed in the video services here, we've got support for Amazon Video On Demand and Hulu. Um, Hulu, normally you need to have a paid Hulu Plus subscription if you want to be able to stream content to a mobile device. This sort of lets you get around that. And Amazon Video On Demand, as far as I know, doesn't actually offer uh, an easy way to watch video on a mobile device, or at least not on a iOS device. So again, lets you get around that. There's a similar application from a company called PlayOn that also uses the same idea of using your PC as a server to take internet video and then send it along. Um, but the advantage that Orb has, of course, is that it also lets you look through your local video library. So if you've downloaded internet videos or if you have a TV tuner and you've used it to um, install or to uh, record programs, you can stream those as well. And uh, the overall experience is pretty similar. It takes a moment to buffer. You don't have to wait through any advertisements except for any commercials that are recorded along with the programs that you're trying to watch. Um, but once once things start up, quality is pretty good. So there you go. That's the first look at the latest version of Orb, which now has support for streaming video uh, from the internet as well as local video streaming from your PC or Mac. This is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing.